Let's do this. Here we go. Let's go, Team Bubble Man. Um, I'm going to go first. And we'll see how we can make this work and how we can play this out. I think we should be okay. I believe, to be honest, Invoked may have other ideas, considering I've recently just... Okay, if I get ashed, I'm screwed. Then I've got double ash, man. Jesus. Um, I suppose I've got no choice. There's nothing to even bait it out, which is even more annoying. Invocation. Okay. Nice. Which is great, because now I can special summon into you. The great thing is, is obviously, with me having to double ash, it's not the worst. But also, it's not the best. Uh, we are going to go into Mecha Bar. I don't know if to go Winder or Mecha Bar. Because technically, I've got negation anyway. But that's more... Preventing special summons, I probably do through... I think we go Mecha Bar, because then I can drop the Shadol play. Yeah. And even still, I can still add Alistair back. So... Although, normally you want to shut down the play, but at least I've got negation. He can't add cards either, which is great. So, we'll go the invocation. Alistair comes back to hand. And that is an end to my turn. The only downfall is the fact I've pulled a bloody hand of effect monsters. That if I get hit with a lightning storm, we got no protection, we're dead. But, we'll see. Okay. Also, to be honest, it might be my first sacred. Ooh. Give me a sec. I need to double check. Oh, it could be Sprite, actually. Yes. Because you would normally summon that. Yeah, okay. Okay, no, no, no. We let that play. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. You went Chaos Summoning. Okay, this is fine. That's his normal summon used up. Activates effect. I Ash. Oh, I just go Mecha for actually. And then I can go with Shadol. No. Although technically, maybe we should have went Mechabur on another monster coming out, really. But it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll live and learn. It's the great things about these kind of team matches is we learn to adjust. Ah, well played. Yeah, it was at this point I realised. Oh, you mother. I can't even counter that, man. Super Polly in the back pocket. Well played. Dragus the Pelia for the negation. Oh, this is awful. What activated? Oh yeah, fuck that. You're not having Fallen Paradise. Oh no. I don't understand why Shadol's effect doesn't take effect if it's sent to the graveyard by card effect.
Ay, 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 ay. My out is literally locked out at the minute. That Drake Spelly has done me, man. Oh. And he should all fusion. That is very annoying. The fact that. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. You know, the worst part is. I am going to struggle here. I can banish his card as well. Strike Sapelia is doing me dirty, man. Okay, pot of desires. That's fairly okay. Really? Now I pull invocation again? Yeah, because if I can go with this, then I can go with the beast, and I can also go with another play. If I go beast and destroy spell or trap, we can make that work. Yeah, because if I go construct, he's going to be forced to activate the negation, which would allow me to go target spell or trap on the field and destroy it, and then, okay, we can go with those two. Go with a spell and trap first. Destroy. And activate effect. No. Resolve. He isn't negating me, which is the most stupidest thing ever. Send beast to the graveyard. Beast allows me to pick up one card. Does he have ash in hand? Okay, so now you're going to... Mate, it doesn't matter. I, it, to be honest, that wouldn't have made any sort of difference anyway. Really? You're going to give me Magical Meltdown now? What is this? They all, like... Who shuffled this deck? Right, let me go with Invocation. Mechaba and Grave, along with Alistair and Grave. Bring you out. Great part about this. Activate the effect. Hmm. Alistair comes back to hand. No. I, c 
could in theory go for another invocation. Uh, to be fair, I could have destroyed our Mirage and then just went invocation again, but... Although, in theory, I technically could still go invocation and just go into... Which is... Wh which one is it? Where is it? I don't think I have it in the deck. I don't. Okay, never mind. But then again... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I genuinely am an idiot. Can you only activate... Wow. Why not? Imagine that. Double Alistair on him. Poor guy. Sometimes you've got to keep the duel simple, man. I was overthinking that duel way too much. More than I should have done. Alright. Bubble Man team wins. Let's go, team. Okay, let's watch. Let's check a replay out. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What are we dealing with? Ooh, Protoss, Nibiru. Got infinite and permanent sword soul blackout. Oh, wow, you even got Lebelion. You got the Bistials as well. I'm assuming it's branded. Oh, it's Punk. Okay. Banish Punk, special summer, Muhumet, Muhumet's effect, get rid of, bring out Lebelion. Bis well, Bistial Lebelion. Synchro into... Oh, Fusion. Okay. Because doesn't Punk normally go into... Um... Wow. I'm not going to lie, I need to start running the Buru again, man. Literally, I do. It doesn't matter what deck I'm running, we need to start running the Buru again. Alright, let's go. Alright then, let's do this. It's time to duel. Okay, come on, Bubble Man team, let's go. Alright, first to go, yes, please. Let us begin. What we'll do is obviously within this series, we will obviously um, react to only winning duels as well. So let's go. What in the state of cities is that? I know I've got part of desires, but damn, that's ridiculous, man. Talk about a deck miller. All it takes is him to go ash and I'm game over. Oh my God. What is this? Oh my god. Wow. Talk about welcome to Brick City. If he hits me with Happy Feather Dust or a Lightning Storm, I'm screwed. Mate, what the hell? He's only got five in his extra deck. What's he running? Monarchs. Now, you don't run anything in the extra deck for Monarchs, do you? That's my only out, Starving Venom. Maybe at some point we'll do a member v viewer series or something, you know what I mean? Go, 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 uh, go, go, go. Chocolate Magician Girl. Okay, I haven't seen the uh, Magician Girl cards in a long time, man. Okay, drop the Magician of Chaos. No. Once per turn of this card, so you take one spell, cast monsters, special summon it, change the attack target to that. Okay. 
Oh no, piercing the lot, piercing the darkness is a problematic card. Uh, yeah, we're screwed. Unless. But aware of you, it his monster isn't going to be normal anyway. It's going to be uh, I mean, he basically needs that magician on the field. But the way this is going for me is not good at all. I could have prevented that by going called by the grave on his magician of chaos, but it's fine. The dark magicians, okay. This is lovely. Please, some magician's rod just to make my day. This is great because now I can go Shadow Fusion as well. Eternal Soul, probably, maybe. Who knows? Technically, if I pull an Alistair, we're good. What is this? Alright, banish. I've never had the double pot desires, but. Mate, this is ridiculous. They will get banished. One, two. Three. I've lost all Alistairs as well, man. Jesus. There's no point having that. Well, actually, there was a point to having that, to be honest. But, yeah. Really, what I should have should have done is go Shadow Fusion, but it's fine. It's ridiculous, man. I'm rolling on ten cards. I don't even know what I even got. I've got no Alistairs. I've got no play. The only thing I could probably do is um, get an Invocation in the grave, which none of them are banished. So two Invocations are still in the deck. Need to find a way of dropping a card. Uh, no, I'm good. The only downfall... Well, technically, there is no downfall. We've got infinite impermanence, which can negate the monster's effect if he goes with Magician's Rod. Is it Magician's Rod? Yeah. Okay, this is good, because he's probably going to go with Eternal Soul now and try special summon his Dark Magicians, which will go by Call by the Grave. And, basically, yeah. Come on, mate. We ain't got all day. My pizza's waiting. I was about to say, evenly matched, but why would you even make that play of action? You know what I mean? Okay, that's not bad. Oh, that's actually really good, because I could just special summon it now. How are you, Marco? You good? Uh, let us go over here. Really annoying that I don't have enough attack. I'm like literally 100 short. Let's go. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. I was supposed to boost his attack. We were, we, we had enough. Yeah, that's my own fault. It's fine. It's fine. From what it looks like, we seem to be okay. This is why I stick to 40 card decks. Um, to be fair, I haven't really been climbing ranks. Um, at the mo well, for the last few days, I haven't really touched ranked. I am in the process of currently learning how to run uh, Valence. I had to think for a sec what their name was. Yeah, Valence. 
which are interesting. I genuinely am excited to be able to master them and learn them. I'm slowly getting there with obviously knowing how the effects apply and, you know, just trying to figure out a perfect type combo would be exciting. Like, I can't wait to be able to play with them with full potential. I think that would be an exciting thing. Oh, I'm the same. I'm all fusions. So but taking this big step in a pendulum direction is uh, is a brand new one for me too, to be fair. I'm just going to proceed to the battle phase. Attack. This is what I was supposed to do last turn, but I completely messed up by not doing it. Right, I have no idea how we won that, but yeah. It's crazy. Alright. Let's go, team. Oh, they're still in their duels. Interesting. Okay, let's spectate. I'm wondering where they're at. The thing I kind of like about jumping into a spectated, you don't have to watch it all. You, obviously, you can speed it up, but yeah. Wow, okay. So we've got Chaxo on the field. Oh, Zombie World as well. What have we got in Grave? Interesting. Yeah, it's weird that running Shield Crush. Unless they run Book of Moon. Oh, is he just... I think he just failed to kill himself. I love... Mate, I'll tell you what. Staging areas look so much better win that one whole thing i genuinely believe in a future update if you win the coin toss your staging area should dominate the whole field i definitely believe that but you know what's funny when the trailer first released for master Duel, yeah i gave it so much shit and hate and here I am, a year and a bit later, and I'm still playing Master. The only reason I say that, the only reason why I gave it such a stick, is because the impression I got from it is the fact it was going to be really slow playing. Like, the chain seems slow. But it's not that bad compared to what I expected it to be. Whoa. Okay, so we've got Labyrinth. I don't even know what we're running here. What are we running? Sangat Ice oh, Speed Roid. Okay, nice. Runics are terrifying when they've got a whole back row, man. I wonder what I wanna I wanna know what you got face down. Oh wait. I think this is the build that has drowning mirror force and things like that. Okay, so they're proceeding to the battle phase. It'd be funny if it was dice jar. When a monster declares an attack, we control a fiend target one card if you negate the attack, and if you do destroy the target card. Fair welcome. I've never seen someone run Fair Welcome Labyrinth before, so that's new to me. But opponent, you take damage equal to the attacking monster's attack, and if you do, banish that monster. Whoa! During the end phase of your opponent's next turn, special summon the monster to your side of the field. Into another Farewell Labyrinth as well. Jeez, this guy's got a triple... I wonder if he's got a triple kill. Triple kill. Okay. Rush recklessly. Uh, yeah, I kind of... I'm excited. Oh, it would have been Morphin Jar. That would have been raw. I genuinely do believe, like, I'm excited for the new event, or whatever the new... Oh, no, the new event's Light versus Dark. So there's a gym... A gym it, I've got an accent somewhere in my jeans that I kind of don't even know what it's supposed to be. Gem pool. That's what I'm trying to say. So I don't know whether they're, they're going to do it as a single event, where we basically get the... Was it 3,200 gems we get? From all the challenges and stuff? But light versus dark, like, 
maybe we're obviously probably going to end up having blue eyes. We're going to have dark magician. Um, possibly, I want to say branded as well. But then technically, oh my god, it's just going to be a labyrinth pool again if it's light versus dark. Oh no, no. How can we have two events back to back and be drowned in labyrinth still? No. They really didn't think about that one well, did they? I, obviously, I understand why they went for light versus dark because they're the most, you know, popular decks being used. So it makes a lot of sense for them to do that. True, they could ban them. I'm hoping they do or ban some selective versions. But then again, you know, even if they say they banned Lady Labyrinth or Lovely, you know, I don't know how well Runics would work considering their Vex kind of help add more traps and stuff, but yeah. I always find it weird that Labyrinth decks are so slow at winning. I always find it very bizarre. Oh, okay. If that's the case. But then, to be fair, who's really going to run light? Like, what good decks are there that consist of light? Other than Blue Eyes. Obviously, I can't think of anything from the top of my head, to be honest. Like, maybe you could run Honest. Fairies, maybe? No, no, no. I wouldn't say Blue Eyes is good, but, like, of a light build. Yeah, you got Herald of, like, the ultimateness and stuff, which is massive negation plays. Blue Eyes is fairly okay. It depends on how you build it, really. My deck hasn't been updated since I built it, which was a long time ago. But yeah. I think you can only have one or the other, though, I think. But then again, yeah. I was initially going to say about Runic. But then I didn't think much of, like, I didn't think there was going to be much of it. But then we we didn't expect to see Runic in the event we just had. Although, to be fair, I saw Runic, but not often. Labyrinth was just kind of like, wait. Check something quick. Yeah. If they do, that would be perfect because Fountain is absolutely dummy busted. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe. Light Swan's decent, though. I don't know how consistent it is, though, but maybe I'll build that in the future. I used to like milling my own deck, though, but then also you got to think you can combine that with so many different other plays, like with Kelbeck and Aguido. Which kind of does make it a bit more interesting to see how people play. I'm actually blown away that this labyrinth player is literally struggling to take over yeah to be fair I, I, I don't I don't I don't think bestials are too bad but then if you can only run one or the other, so let's say Dark-type 
obviously they're gonna they're gonna stockpile on bestials. Where we're light, they don't really have the same kind of thing. I reckon they will ban bestials. Not gonna lie, this Azriel is very slow. To be fair, we had some Despia decks in um, in the most recent event as well with Fairy and. Um, why is it just blank from my brain? Fairy and. Um, I keep going to say Demon. What was it? Fairy and what? Oh my god. It's literally blank from my brain. All right, it's all good. Right, I'm going to wrap up here, ladies and gents. It's been a pleasure. Thank you all for coming out. It's greatly appreciated. I'm going to go eat my pizza, and I'll be back on in about, obviously, Pokemon stream probably be a bit later anyway. But take care.